programs. Today we will have discussion about available faculties and programs at Cyprus University. Me, Medika Shafi'i, with my dear colleague Zoha Ayu, we will be your host. Now I would like to welcome our dear professors and deans uh, for giving us their time for being here with us. Thank you. Um, thank you so much again for joining us today. Uh, my question from you is that, can you please briefly introduce yourself one by one? We will start from Mr. Abiola. Um, he's from Faculty of Engineering. Thank you again for having me. Uh, you have heard join online. Uh, I am Assistant Professor Dr. Abiola Hayoko Abiodo. I'm the Vice Dean of the Faculty of Engineering in Cyprus West University. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mitra Medani. I have over 35 years of teaching experience in many different parts of the world. I was previously the head of English department at Dubai Police Academy for nine years, and I have also taught at Zayed University in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and University of Biotechnology and the Canadian University in Dubai. I've had the privilege of teaching students from 40 different nationalities in locations such as Dubai and the US. I was also as a, assigned to teach employees of different co uh, corporations in Dubai, such as Mitsubishi, Isuzu, Jumeirah Group Hotels, Virgin Mega Store, AXA Insurance Company, and uh, Christian Lobotan. I am currently the head of the English Prep School uh, here at Cypress West University. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, I am Assistant Professor Dr. Ada Chugozi Academy. I am presently the Head of Logistics Department and also the Vice Dean for the Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, now I would like to ask another question from our dear professors. Uh, could you please uh, briefly introduce a uh, little and you give us some information about your faculty and your programs? Okay, thank you very much for your question. In our faculty, Faculty of Economics, Administrative and Social Sciences, we share amongst five disciplines, of which we have uh, um, business administration, tourism and hospitality management, Logistics Department, Civil Aviation Management, and Psychology Department, which has the English and the Turkish. And also we have the Master's Program, which is the MBA program in our faculty. Now, um, under the faculty, we have, it's a four years course for the undergraduates and a two year Master's Program. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So in the Faculty of Engineering, we offer three major programs. Uh, one of them is Computer Engineering, and then we have Information System Engineering, and the last one is the Electrical Electronics Engineering. Uh, these programs, four of them are basically four years degree programs. And then these programs, uh, you know, they are actually being accredited and approved by national and international accreditation bodies. So if you come to our university to this program, I I really, really want to encourage you because these programs are very good programs. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, my next question from you is that, uh, this question is specifically from Ms. Abiola and Ms. Adha Hijab. Um, I want to ask that what is the criteria or the ECTS required for undergraduate and graduate programs uh, in order for students to graduate um, to, or to complete their courses. Thank you very much, uh, actually. Uh, so in our university, uh, we have a very good international student office, uh, student affairs office. So first of all, when you want to come to our university, all we have to do first is to apply through our online application system. So when you go to our website, cw.edu.ch, cw you apply through the online system. And of course, on our website, you will see the required um, number of salt so based on your, I mean, your country, your national, either you are from Africa or Asia, Europe, or even from South and North America. 
So you see the requirements on our websites. You apply to our websites. Uh, within a very short time, our international office will respond back to you, mm -hmm. offer you the admission. So when you come into our university, uh, basically uh, our programs will run with um, ECTS system. So this is the system on semester basis. You will have to take like some minimum of five to six courses, and these five to six courses we, uh, I mean, we require you to have at least thirty ECT years. So at the end of your four years program, you should have accumulated two hundred and forty ECT years. Uh, without this, you will not be able to graduate. But let me assure you. Now, when you come to our university, we have a very good uh, system, especially uh, from our student as affairs office to our international student office, and even we have credible I mean, student advisors, which are professors uh, in our various departments that will guide you into I mean, choosing the right courses, you know, knowing what to do for each semester. So uh, all this will be taken care of when you join us, and we are really looking up to you uh, that you join us. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vera. To add to what he said, um, for the MBA program, the minimum ECTS required for graduation is 90. So you should have at least 90 ECTS, which qualifies a master's students to graduate. And also, you should have a minimum of for your CGPA. Now, this is important and it's possible because here in Cypress West University, we try to enhance students with the best quality of education to enable them to go out and be competent wherever they will find themselves. So the minimum um, credit units, CGPA required for the master's program is three and 90 ECTS. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, um, to add to it, um, the students are required to have um, courses. They would do the courses. It's required after the courses has been approved and assigned, and the defense is successful. Then the students can move on to graduate. Thank you so much, Miss. So right now, I would like to ask one question from you and Mr. Abuola. So um, after graduation, um, could you please give us some information about uh, career opportunity for internship for those students who are graduated from Southwest West University? Thank you. Thank you, Melika. First and foremost, I want our students and our viewers to understand that here in Cypress West University, I am very confident in the teachers which we have. Mm -hmm. They are professionals and we all try to give our best to our students. So upon graduation, there are various opportunities such as internship. Now during your third year, um, second semester, you are given the opportunity to go for internship programs. Now what the school does is to recommend um, companies and offices where students can do they are in friendship. For housing students, they can work in hotels and build their knowledge. For those in, in civil aviation, they had the opportunity, like the ones that just finished their internship, they actually had that at the Agile International Airport. And they had huge experiences from that. So also in during their academic period, we recommend seminars, symposiums conferences to grow your knowledge and also increase your place in terms of acquiring knowledge and connection also. So when you go out, you're confident in what you have. So I believe this helps the students. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Dr. Aria. Thank you, Melly Fawzura. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, uh, just to add to what Dr. Ada has just said, uh, while you are studying with us as honorary students, uh, especially most times in your second or third year, even on campus, on our campus, there are some opportunities we have uh, within the campus. So our students, they do some kind of, I mean, works on campus, like opportunities like uh, working in the library, working with the student affairs office as assistants in the international office. Even in the departmental level, we have students that are also working as assistants at those, all those levels. 
and then we have room for you know other activities within the campus. So aside that, uh, the island of Cyprus, where the university is located, it it has I mean a lot of opportunities also because in this side of the world, uh, the hospitality sector is really booming, and the construction sector so. I'm very sure when our university these days, we have a lot of our students that did their internship, just like she mentioned, at Agent Airport, at with Pegasus Airline and the likes of other companies that we have around. So when you come around and you really focus on your study, I mean, follow the guidelines with your teachers. Our teachers are there, our lecturers to really guide you and really put you through how to really, you know, make the best of yourself in our university and in the environment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, right now, I would like to ask one specific questions from a question from Ms. Mitra. So, as we know, we have uh, English um, Purpose School in Cyprus West University. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to uh, give us some information about this uh, school and how it works. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, it's the General Museum of Instruction. At Cyprus Space University's English, the presence of the university's English preparatory school is extremely important. The level of English in courses offered by the different faculties and departments is quite, is quite advanced. We at Cyprus Space University English Prep School teach a full range of English language courses to students for the duration of one year to equip them with the academic English skills and knowledge they will need for their studies. Mm -hmm. So furthermore, the prep school aims to enhance and advance students' writing, listening, reading, and speaking skills in English, which is crucial in order for them to succeed in their academic career. So the program offered by the prep school includes courses that will enhance the students' abilities to listen and understand, to take notes, to express themselves, and share their views in English. The program aims to enhance the students' comprehension skills, mm -hmm. particularly reading academic texts. It also helps improve their writing skills, such as preparing essays, reports, and presentation. Yes, thank you so much, Ms. Mitra. Uh, right now, uh, I want to ask this question. So, imagine we have uh, new students that are coming for new semesters, and they don't have IELTS exam um, certificates. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are, what is the requirements? Uh, can you give us something suggestion about the question? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, at the start of every semester, an English proficiency exam mm -hmm. uh, is held for students uh, who, who want to study in departments in which the medium of instruction in English uh, is in English. Mm -hmm. So the proficiency exam determines whether the students possess the necessary level of English to proceed directly to their studies. Yeah. So students who fail to pass the proficiency exam as required, uh, they, they, they are required to take the pre uh, preparatory English course, and then for minimum of so one minimum of one year and a maximum of two years. Okay. And students who have a second minimum, uh, sorry, they have the school minimum uh, of uh, like. Um, they have a score of 5.5 in the IELTS exam mm -hmm. within the last two years or an equivalent scores from another international English language proficiency examination yes. will be exempted from the prep school uh -huh. program. So students who have no documents regarding their English language level are required to take the proficiency exam. If successful, they can begin their uh, in, intended program of study. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, my question again is from Sylvia Fu. Um, the question is that how can we, are there any activities on campus, uh, particularly extracurricular activities that can help students achieve their personal and professional goals? Um, if I would you like to add? <laughs> okay, like I always say, when you come to a school, don't just pass through the school, every school also pass through you. So um, we have hiking, we, we go on hiking, it's, it's an exciting moment, it helps people relax, I personally enjoy it. Also there's um, the football club, they play football from now and then, so for guys who love to play football, you're welcome. 
And so we are trying to start up the music um, department. I love to sing hello. <laughs> so if you come to Cypress West University, you would, um, if you have passion for music, why not? Miss Mitra Hojagia loves to do yoga. So it's an idea also. You know, students have difficulties, you know. Sometimes you come to a place where things you're depressed, and you just need a moment of relax. Yeah. There is a silent room where you can relax and ease the tension. So all that is available and no more. You know, we expect students that when they come, they can also bring out what they have and help to also grow the school. So whatever ideas you have, you're also welcome. But for now, we have these and many more others. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would you like to add? Oh, actually, I believe Dr. Ada is here. Uh, but aside uh, mm -hmm. on campus business, uh, also we in the community, we have social activities in the community. So when you come around, I mean, Cyprus is a very lovely place. Nice weather condition, uh, beautiful people around, the right. people with safety. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, and so many. So when you come around, you see all these opportunities, basically. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, my last question from you is that how can we as professors support students during the course of time on campus and after their graduation? So, Aviela? Okay. Okay. So, how can we support students? Okay. Yeah. Uh, during their time on campus while they are still completing their degrees and after their graduation? Thank you very much for that question, Zoya. So, basically, our students, once they arrive on campus, uh, from our international office, straight our student office. Uh, in fact, from anyone you meet on our campus, everyone is always willing to know. So once you come around from the restriction point of view, uh, your enrollment will be well taken care of. And also with our professional teachers that we have around as student advisors, uh, they are always there to advise the students and guide the students into you know how they need to um, spend their time on campus, even in the environment, and to really have a successful uh, student life. So, and uh, um, also our professors are very welcoming, they are highly hospitable. So, and this is very different. You'll be so amazed when you come around. Our professors are easy bringing people. You can always go to their offices, even at the student offices, knock at the door, get into the office, ask any questions you need to ask, and we, we are always willing to help. So we provide all the all answers to your questions, always there for you to assist you. So I'm really looking forward to see a lot of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, to add to what Dr. Bolan has said, um, like I said previously, we teachers serve as guidance also to students to make them feel at ease and make them comfortable. So when I talk about the symposium, the conferences, now these things help build the intellect of students. Now when you're graduating, you're not confused. You should have been able to identify your career paths. So when you attend these seminars, conferences, by the way, you don't have to even travel to some other country. In here, there are seminars, conferences, symposiums in different places. So you can attend this. We also provide links, you know, to widen their knowledge. So if a student is, is, is a bit confused and graduating, I don't know what to do. There are remote jobs which students can, you know, venture into because they are knowledgeable, they have the idea on it. And like when we don't have any idea on things like that. So we try to train students, to teach students in every aspect. Now we also know that most of the things we are being taught, you know, we don't apply it outside basically. Like what I mean is, you know, the right works. We don't do that outside, but it helps you also to build yourself and to also know where you are forging ahead. So if you're good in mathematics, you should know that you are good in that part. Now, there are lessons you can teach people, yeah. and, and there are so many things online these days. So what we do is to help. Now, how we can support students, basically, is what I'm... I'm, I'm 
basically trying to emphasize on and to talk about. We call students, we talk to them. Personally, I love to find out how students are doing. It's not just speaking about academics. How do you do, um, even with your family back at home? Sometimes people come and, you know, face challenges at home. It's not easy. So what are the ways to help the students? If you do well, if you do good, why not? There are assistantship positions, scholarship readily available. Yes, if I have to use Ms. Zoa here, she's currently a student in her final year in civil aviation, by the way. And she's on scholarship and she's also working in the school. So you can understand by this that it's not just about coming to school and playing. There are various opportunities when you come here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, um, this point, I will ask questions from you. Is there any final set of advice that you would like to give other prospective students? Just one way or one sentence that you would like to say. Okay. Maraba. Hello. Yes. Hello. So my advice is when I came to Cyprus, it was a bit difficult because of communication barrier. You know, someone is being nice to me and I'm like, what are you saying? So when you come into a place maybe as much as you can learn your language, please do. It helps a lot, even in terms of getting jobs. Yeah, there are jobs, yeah. but you have to learn your language. You know, it brings the familiarity, it brings that bond. So you are accepted, you are comfortable, you can communicate well with them. Then also, keep your hopes high. Now, it's it's not easy, I would say, and that, that's part of um, we build it, we build it for us as human beings. Now, when we come to a place, we are not sure. We are faced with uncertainties, but keep your hopes high and also stay at the top of your um, academics because here in North Cyprus, you know, if you are academically sound, trust me, you will go very far. So, in as much as Whatever situation or wherever you find yourself, or how challenging it is, just try your best to keep your academics good and also learn the language and you know try to mingle with everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So would you like to add something? Yeah, I mentioned most of it. But uh, let me just add also that um you know even most most times when the come to a place and then you know mm -hmm. uh no friends. So it's very important when you come around to choose and to meet the right friends is very well important. And then also, please, when you come around, be very opt optimistic. Because if you go to a new environment in most places, people will give you so many information. So if you need to find right and correct information, it should be from the International Student Office or the Student Affairs or the Cyprus West University, or you go to your lecturers. We will give you the right information that you need because you will need a lot of information to do with so many things. So when you come around, please try to find the right information that is very important. And also, like I said, be optimistic, be very diligent in your studies and make sure that you are very focused. I uh, don't, I mean, when you come around, don't lose the focus on why you come to study with us. So the reason why you're coming to North Cyprus is to study. So it is very important that you keep your gaze and your focus on your study. And I, like the other like we said, if you really do this, North Cyprus has a lot of opportunities when you focus on what you have come to do, and you really, really are a very good students. Even great. we are, like I've been saying in my previous uh, speech, we are really looking forward to see you, every one of you. We welcome you to our university. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, professors, for joining us today. This is the end of our session. And I'm very sure that our students, prospective students, have benefited a lot from this informative session. As for students, um, you can always find us on our social media accounts. We have our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The name is same, Cypress West University. You can also log on to our website for more updated information. Uh, thank you for joining us today for this talk show. Right now, uh, I would like to uh, give an answer to one of the questions.
uh, I can see because we are live well live. Uh, we have some questions from my dear students. I can see uh, Sadiq, he asked about, please do we provide assistance and scholarship program for international students? Yes, we do, Sadiq. Uh, I'm suggesting you to please um, check out. We had uh, one uh, session yesterday about uh, in, in details about uh, admission and re registration procedures, but I will give you a brief answer for these questions as well. Um, based on your grades, um, if you have all of the required documents, we will give a six, a six to six people from the scholarship to the person for master degree, 60 to 75 person scholarship for bachelor degree, and uh, it depends on your uh, country and also uh, your grades. Um, just I'm suggesting you please uh, check yesterday's uh, session. We will share it on our Instagram page and Facebook page as well. And um, also our university is not perfect. Um, and um, we have, you know, we offer this scholarships for uh, international students. And um, that's all from me. <laughs> if you have any other, uh, and also I have another question about assistantship. Yes, we have some assistantship programs for international students. If you can give an answer, good. <laughs> I give an answer. I, I, I think I talked about that, and I, I might put uh, her here. As an example, she's a student and she's also an assistant. And by the way, she has been an assistant for quite a while. So yes. it doesn't matter if you're studying your undergraduate program. Come, be optimistic, be hopeful, and make friends like Dr. Abiola said. So that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.